What's going on guys? Welcome back to another q and It's a little bit rainy today, so I'm gonna take cover in the digger. In the digger, let's go. Let's clean the cobwebs. It hasn't been used for a while. <sighs> there we go. Today's q and I just need to unlock my phone. We've got a few questions, nothing major, just four today. We're just gonna keep it short and sweet. Last week was a bit of a long one. There was lots of questions. I got bombarded, but it's been a bit quieter this week. So we've just got four here in front of me. Right, the first one is, where did you go? Why did you go? And what made you come back? Sorry if you've answered this already. What I did was I was going through a bit of a time in my life where I felt like I needed to change and I had the opportunity to go and work for my family business so I took it and I was enjoying it to start with but after a while I realised how much I actually miss construction, uh, working on site, working with this great bunch of people. I know we all take the mickey out of each other at all times but it is really a joy to work with all these lot and yeah I, I just missed it and I wasn't getting the job satisfaction from what I was doing so I felt like I had to come back and I'm glad I did to be totally honest because I I get to do stuff like this and I get to do stuff like that as well. I get to do lots of lovely building work. Not so lovely today because it's chucking it down, but it is summer, so you know, what else do you expect? So that is where I was, where I went and why I'm back. Next question, how many of you guys have got licenses to drive all the machinery or don't you need it these days? This is a bit of a gray area. However, the HSC state that, provided you are on a domestic site, which this is a domestic site, you do not need a license to drive the machinery. If you're driving the machinery, machinery on the road that is obviously a different thing altogether you actually need a license for that but in our circumstances providing you've been given adequate training and you're a competent person you are able to drive the machinery as you've seen I'm perfectly capable of driving this machinery Tony's perfectly capable a few of the other lads are as well everybody receives proper training you know we all have a bit of practice in some safe areas familiarize yourself with all the controls all that sort of stuff if somebody's not very confident then we won't let them do certain things we're very sensible people as you've obviously realized very very sensible we do just sort of take the time to make sure that if a person is driving any of the machinery they know exactly what they're doing because we want not only them to be safe but also those around them because machinery can be very very dangerous so that hopefully answers that question next question loving the style of videos in this series like the good old days with John back as well how old is that wow do you think lads so Tom our editor who's basically editing these videos he is awesome he used to edit our videos back in the day so he's on this now yeah he is really good we all love working alongside him also Ryan as well he does the other videos he is also an excellent editor and he again is a cracking bloke so you know it just works well we're all a good team that work well together obviously the videos are coming out well and hopefully you're receiving them well too with regards to the wow the house is about 160 years old I would assume about the same it is a shame we couldn't keep it but as you can tell where it's basically over there it would have been an absolute nightmare to do all of this steel work and actually keep that well where it was it would have caused us a hell of a lot of problems so we decided in the grand scheme of things just to get rid of it because it would have been a nightmare a total nightmare so we needed to be gone fortunately we were able just to fill it with rubble as well because if somebody did comment on a video with a wall in saying that they had to put a load of rebar and concrete and all sorts into it so i think we got away pretty lightly with that one sorry to the guy who had to do that right next one hi john has will the roofer moved on or does he still work for tony will has actually set up his own business and he's doing very very well as you would expect Will is an excellent roofer and we absolutely love him. Not only is he an excellent roofer, he's also a top guy. He's a geezer, a geezer. So, exciting news. You haven't heard it at first, because if you follow us on Instagram, you'd have seen that I've already mentioned this, but he is coming to do our roof up there. Will, the roofer, is going to be back and he's going to be on it. And obviously we're going to be filming the whole process and showing you everything, showing you him working his magic. So he'll be doing the main roof and he'll also be doing the flat roof down here as well. So that will be a nice bit of time to have him on site with us. We're all really looking forward to that but yeah that will be obviously when we get there in the in the series you'll see that but in my time in real time that is monday next week he's coming he's going to be here so it's going to be awesome we're really looking forward to that he again got to a stage where he had so much work on so many inquiries and stuff like that that he just took the opportunity to move on and start his own his own business up and he's doing really well so fair play to him for that right that is it for today's q a as usual if you've got any more questions about this series about anything to do with the business anything to do with trade drop them in the comments either on youtube or on instagram and we'll do our best to answer them and bring you them in this nice little package video for you take care guys see you next time